The handoff, and there's Clowney. Wow! There's a takedown by Jadavion Clowney. Yeah, you know that guy by now. It's a high school player pretty much becoming a household name. Jadavion Clowney, the number one overall player in the class of 2011. On Monday, he will sit down in front of a microphone at his high school there in South Carolina and make his verbal commitment to a program. Clowney has a guy that is everybody is waiting for at this point. And we mentioned Alabama. They get Clowney. They could be the number one recruiting class in the nation overtaking Florida State. But are you hearing that now Alabama may be on the outside looking in? Yeah, you know, we talked throughout the year in Recruiting Insider, regardless of what team's in a mix, it was a South Carolina Alabama battle. I truly believe, though, that Clemson, the other in state school, is making a late push for him. And I truly believe that they may have moved in the number, uh, the number two spot. Dabo Sweeney, defensive line coach Marion Hobby, obviously have a lot to sell for him. Daquan Bowers, who's the number one overall player coming out of the state of South Carolina a few years ago, he is now leaving Clemson. Clemson has a big void to fill, and obviously they could sell him on that point. But I would never count out an Alabama team led by Nick Saban. Anytime they're in a race, you have to take them as a serious threat. But if I had to kind of handicap it right now, I'd kind of go South Carolina 1, Clemson 2, Alabama at now is a dark horse. But once again, I'll never count out Nick Saban, but no. I'd be surprised if he now if he leaves the state of South Carolina. Great options close to home. Again, he's going to turn 18 on Monday. We're talking a lot about him. Why is there so much about Jadavian Clowney out there in the mainstream media now as well beyond this whole recruiting nonsense? Yeah, he's a great football player with upside to talk about a player who has an outstanding combination of size, speed, and athleticism. He can get off the football. He's got the ability to make plays. And what we're seeing here is one play that is a great capsule of the type of player he is. He gets off the ball, the recognition skills. He's not just a good athlete. He sees the quarterback going pass set. He goes into pass rush mode. He goes to make a move on. He's about ready to beat the guy. Eyes still on the quarterback, still on the ball. He sees us now a, a shuttle pass i.e. a run play, watch him discard the offensive tackle and how quickly he covers ground. For a 6'6", six 6'7", 240-pound, six, six 250-pound player, to be able to move like that is almost unheard of. He runs like a deer, so this is why he is so covered. Plus, he's a young man who seems to take care of business off the field. He keeps a tight circle, so a good player on the field, a good player off the field. You've got somebody who could really do a lot of things for your program.